Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for October 20th through November 3rd. We will have a, a shift in the pattern that will occur, and this will happen as a, a trough moves into the west. We have an upper low here um, off the California coast that will also bring some um, issues to the um, to uh, Southern California and parts of the Southwest and the Rockies. So we'll go through this in the period. Now, if you watch uh, as we go through the period, so seeing the trough starting to weaken, lift out. We come to the 24th, it gets weakened. It's still trying to hold on. This upper low moves closer. So um, this is what we will have um, occurring. Now, the Great Lakes will continue to see precipitation during this period due to um, um, the, the um, lake effect snow uh, will bring um, lake effect rain and snows and then an upper trough and surface front will move into the west right here you see it moving in whoops and this uh, late in the period and this will bring precipitation along with higher elevation snow you can see it here with the GFS to the northwest on Friday and then extend southward into the northern and central plains of central Rockies during um, the weekend. Then we have the upper low off the south of the um, California coast may bring precipitation to the region. And a front will interacting with Gulf moisture as it moves eastward. You see right here. And this will bring some um, rain as it interacts with the flow from the Gulf of Mexico. We'll look now at the period for October 25th to the 29th. And the pattern shift should be complete during this time. We have a trough digging into the west ridge here off over these specific above normal heights here across um, eastern North America. As you go to the 29th, you see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Some of the models aren't working. So the models are good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am calling for, I have the wrong map here. Calling for below normal temperatures here and I'm calling for anomalies be near or, or above 12 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures forecast here with anomalies near or above eight degrees above normal. Greatest anomalies would be across this region here. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here and for this area. And the probability of occurrence is near 40%, below normal precipitation here. And the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. Now, as we go to the next period, this is before October 30th to November 3rd, and the flow um, flattens to more towards the zonal flow, but they still keep um, heights across East North America. Everything's weaker. The trough here in the West is weaker. So um, not, um, not much change in temperature anomalies for this period, except to... Um, to include much of the, uh, the remainder of the West to the two to four degrees below normal category and for precipitate and for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for the Mississippi Valley to the Pacific Coast, probability of occurrence of 35%. And we have above normal precipitation for the Middle Atlantic and the Northeast, probability of occurrence is near 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for October 20th through November 3rd. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.